Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Hannah Lee, and you are awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. It's the red button there. Click it and hit that bell so you get notifications when I post new videos, which is, by the way, every single week. Today's video dives a little bit deeper into my creative process and how I work with producers to get the exact sound that I want. So a few years ago, I was working with a new producer and I was trying to figure out how to convey the sounds that I want without having the sounds that I want. And I was like, I need to be able to correctly paint this picture because it's a picture. And I see music very visually. So I went, you know, I wonder if there's a way to visually represent what it is that I see and hear in my head in a way that a producer could then take that and know, ah, we need these instruments, these musicians, this is how we're gonna create that sonic landscape. I actually went on Pinterest and started to create a board that I call Musicality. And I will link it below so you guys can browse through it and see what I mean. Basically, I took things from costumes, stage sets, makeup looks, jewelry, tattoos, shoes, photos, fashion, music videos, choreography, all these different things that painted the world that my music should live in. And it worked. It was the most fascinating thing to see this producer look through these visuals and be able to understand the sonic realm that I wanted to create. It's a little bit industrial, it's a little funky, it's a little soulful, and it's pop. So I put in very edgy things, you know, shoes with metallic spikes and, and, and cool dark imagery and weird, bizarre sort of Halloween-esque choreography and fashion and costumes and stuff like that with also very ethereal, beautiful, glittery makeup and jewelry and dresses that had chains but also had glittering elements. So you really got that contrast of the pop world and you know, the, the pretty sparkly glitzy stuff with that industrial, metallic, edgy, gritty thing. I'm all about contrast in music and fashion and things like that. So putting these things there visually, you could then go, okay, so for the industrial thing, we need kind of metallic sounding instruments. And for this, we need more organic sounding instruments. And for that, we need kind of more the bells and whistles. And it really, really worked to communicate that. So if you are an artist and you're trying to figure out what you want your sound to be or how you communicate that to a producer or a musician or a songwriter, maybe try this out. Go on Pinterest, put together a board. I called mine musicality and you know, see what elements you want. And then you can also really look through it and you'll, as you scroll, you'll be able to see the things that don't fit visually, but that will also start to lead you to the things that don't fit sonically. There might be a beautiful picture of a puppy in a field that I might love the picture, but you know, does that go with the kind of, you know, bizarrely beautiful contortionist hanging from a chandelier, no. And sonically, maybe that would represent more of a, an acoustic vibe, you know, and you kind of see then what visually doesn't fit, but also what sonically doesn't fit and how that representation actually really does communicate the overall effect. If you found this video interesting or helpful, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're not, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in the next one.